G'day Dinkum Years. This video we're going to break down how to use the camera and how to complete the quest for using cameras and taking photos within Dinkum. Let's go. So first of all you're going to need to buy the camera which you can get from Theodore in the museum. The standard camera is 16,000 dinks where the camera and tripod is 64,000 dinks. To use the camera equip it to your quick bar and then left click to use it. To get out of the camera view press E. For the tripod Equip this to your quick bar and place it down. Go up to the camera and right click. Now that you're in the camera mode, you can then move around and maneuver the camera to keep following you or to look at something else. You can scroll your mouse wheel in to zoom in and scroll out to zoom out. You can then press Z to hide the HUD to get a much better beautiful picture if you want to take a screenshot. To take a photo, simply just left click. To get out of it, press E. Now we got the basics cover. Let's do a quest. You'll get generally a quest to take a photo of a person or of a certain area or of some items. To do the persons, pretty simple. Find the NPC you need to take a photo of, take a photo of them, and then go hand that one in. If you need to do a quest to take a photo in that certain area, look at your mini map and find the camera icon. Go to that area and take a photo of anything, anywhere, and then hand that quest in. Quick note guys, make sure you check what you need to take a photo of before accepting the quest. It could be something rare and hard like an alpha, or it could be something very easy. Or another example, you might need to take a photo of Theodore who doesn't come out till later at night, so you have to wait around all day to complete this task. So just double check what you're accepting before you go ahead with it. For some tasks, it may ask you to take a photo of two things in the same photo. It could be something simple like a magpie, and a bush turkey. It could be something very hard, like two characters who may not be around at the same time. So again, make sure you check what it is. And if you do get a double one, you have to take a photo of both of them in the same picture. It can't be two separate pictures, it's the same one. This can be quite easy if you know where to find these certain items and if you know how to set it up right. Now that you understand it, go out there and take some amazing photos and hang them up inside the museum there. The new feature within the Blooming Spring update allows you to hang certain photos inside the museum. Do you wish to make your builds that little bit better? Check out this video about the new jacaranda tree with the update.